you all today I hope you are all okay so today I'm making mini crispy potato bites it's my uh, son type like my son likes stuff like that like waffles like uh, potato rings uh, mini crispy potato bites and samosas and like that he loves eating that kind of like um, snacks so I'm making that snack today so let's get started let me show you my ingredient first so here I have got one cup of rice flour got here four potatoes boiled and mashed I've got here chili flake according to your taste I've got here uh, two tablespoon of corn flour about a tablespoon of chopped garlic salt to taste all for cooking water same amount of rice flour and I've got coriander is optional I like to put coriander so let's get started first process I'm going to turn on my flame here uh, and I'm going to put here approximately three tablespoon of oil and I'll pour garlic but not in very high flame because I don't want garlic to be burned so I'm going to do low flame and braise it in very low flame so garlic is braised I didn't want to burn it so it is braised in very low flame yeah now I'm going to pour here chili flake it's just according how much you require I don't want to make it spicy because my son then will not eat so I'm letting it braise just a little bit now I pour the one cup of water here yeah and now I'm going to do very high flame now to let the water boil I'll come to you when the water is boiled so the water is boiled I'm going to do low flame now and then I'm going to start to put the rice flour in and look the rice flour uh, takes all water so soaks all water and then look it's like this what happened so I'm going to mix it very well and it's good you have to take little bit big pot otherwise you won't be able to stir it so just cook it for a little while otherwise because you anyway you're going to cook it in the oil after you mix with potatoes but still I'm going to mix it little bit three four minutes only and then that's <clears throat> so here it is I have like just cooked for three four minutes but just for in very low flame so I'm going to turn off my flame and to let it cool down properly I'll put in in this uh, different bowl uh, because it's very hot so I'm getting it cool down for about five minutes and then I'm coming to you so the rice flour is cooked already so I'm going to put this four potato in the rice flour but in, because this is big size bowl I'm going to put in in here yeah and the salt according to your taste I will put little bit because I have uh, a little bit I'm going to try before the first I'm going to mix it properly this space so if you want you can add here green chili but I'm not going to put any green chili I'll just put coriander because you know that I I'm big fan of coriander so I'm going to mix it first mix it properly this dry salt and then see I'm making with very less ingredient but it's so lovely uh, now I'm going to cut in very small, small size or coriander. If you're kids or you don't like, you don't need to put, you just skip. Yeah, but I just love coriander. Anything with coriander is, smells nice and is lovely as well. It's delicious. So yeah, I am. Now mix, I have put my oil on to start to get hot while I'm mixing all yeah so now I'm going to add my corn flour because it's like sticky sticky so I'm going to put the 
two tablespoon of corn flour and then I'm going to mix it very well yeah so look now just to make little bit a better I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil here now mix it well again and that's it just last thing I need to try salt how is and look my dough is getting nicely ready Mm. Yeah. So, my dough is ready. I'm going to divide this dough into three parts and then I'm going to make my start to make my bites. Let me wash my hand first. So now, before start, we have to put in our hand little bit oil to grease your hand so not to get sticky. Your your bites not to get sticky so i'm divided i have divided this equally in three parts now i'm going to put little bit oil in in my surface or walk top or wherever you are working and then we're trying to make this just roll it like this because they are mini bites but they are so crispy because of rice flour so we are trying to bind them the proper way and see it's already smell smelling so lovely yeah so it's like this you can freeze this for one week in the top so whenever you wish you can fry and eat as I, I keep telling my son whenever you wish you just take out from the freezer and fry them whenever you feel to eat so here so I'm starting to cut here, like my bites is here, look, yeah, so, so they are mini potato bites, while my oil is getting ready, so I'm making it little bit, settle it little bit nicely, to look nicely, because coriander comes out, look how beautiful color reddish and the greenish in with coriander, I'm sure you won't regret to make this and you you can make in a tiffin your school children's school dinner as well they are very yummy easy and very less ingredients yeah so I think oil is ready yeah I'm going to put in my oil here start to fry them my bites already smelling very nice They are changing color that's not ready yet i'll take this we need paper towel but i haven't got yet finished just realized that it's finished to drain oil so i'm taking in this plate how nice lovely cute they look like my god my son will grab finish off so i'm going to do my another batch my uh, potato mini potato mini crispy potato bites are ready and they are so lovely yummy my son already had tried one and it's really very yummy so viewers i hope you have uh, learned very basic recipe from home uh, like day to day you can make it and you can freeze for one week uh, at least and you can make when like you go to 
holiday, school, children, tiffin, or suddenly someone wants to come. This is not time consuming. Just you put boiled potato and then the rest you can make quickly, quickly. So I hope you have learned and like. And please don't forget to subscribe and share. And don't forget to press the bell icon. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. I want to say thank you for again for people, people for out of UK as well. They are really appreciating watching my videos. I have uh, met um, um, a girl after many, 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 many years ago. We found out that I saw her when she was baby, and I'm very uh, glad to met her like by YouTube again. Though I have not her contact yet, but yeah. I know who is she. So very nice to meet you again, uh, Nusrat Banu. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much. See you again.